Okay. Rapid fire questions. Rapid Are you fire ready? Questions. Yes. Purple at or sunrise? I'm very scared right now. Don't think. Just like, I mean, well, I never think. I am ready. First celebrity crush. Okay, I'm gonna date myself here. Um, you can't date yourself. No. Uh, you might have to look her up. <laughs> Curry were. I don't know who, who that is. Owen Wilson's girlfriend. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, Nev Campbell. Nev because Campbell. Because Scream, just, I was like six, and I, boom, done. And we met her. Yeah, we did, and I was really scared, so I didn't <laughs> say anything. I had to do all the talking. Yeah. Show that you are currently uh, binge watching, or did binge watch. Uh, Yellowstone. Yellowstone? What, what season are you on, episode? Uh, I just started the second season. Okay. Uh, sex Education, watched all three seasons in like two days. Uh, Quite embarrassing. But it's super good. Advice for other filmmakers that you can give. Think about your audience. Start with the story. Good writing. Ooh, if you could have dinner with one living person in film, who would it be? This is gonna be controversial. Oh, I already know who it's gonna be. Go ahead and say it, it's fine. Joss Whedon. Okay. Uh, oh gosh, there's, right now, Phoebe Waller-Bridge. I would love, there's a lot of things I need to ask her personally and professionally. <laughs> oh, if you could work with one actor right now, who would it be? Your choice. One actor? Yeah. Your choice? Living or dead? Oh, uh, well, yeah, you have to work with them. It's living. Ew. Oh. Um, I'm just going to have to go with the obvious here. Uh, Harrison Ford. Is it because you think you look like him? He doesn't. One person one time told you that. I'm pretty sure they were drunk, so it doesn't count. I would say Angelina Jolie, but... You just did. I'm not. But no, I really, truly, I, I think Emily Blunt. To me, it seems like she's like a director's dream, because she, yeah. she can do everything, and she's so brilliant. So I think right now, probably Emily Blunt. What's like your guilty pleasure movie? You're quite embarrassed that you like it. <laughs> um, I have no shame. Lake Placid. That's a solid movie. Yes, That's, it is. That it is, is good. My guilty pleasure movie, uh, Anaconda. Yeah, that yeah another good one. Yeah. Ooh, a movie that you saw as a kid and it stuck with you. Um, uh, I'll go with the obvious, Star Wars. Good one. Uh, Titanic, I guess, probably. You're a child. Oh, a movie that you wish you had uh, directed. I wish I had directed. Yeah, um, like if you got the opportunity instead of somebody else. Not sure what year it came out, but the uh, Alicia Vikander Tomb Raider movie. <sighs> yeah, that would have been nice. That would have been. I don't know. Can I pass? No, hold on. I'll think of something. Amber Waves. No, I'm just kidding. The Lizzie McGuire movie. No, oh, I, I can. Hell, that is. I can answer. You always talk about honestly, that. I can answer the Lizzie McGuire movie for the movie that stuck with me and for. Yeah, the Lizzie McGuire movie. All right, we'll cut Tidy. that part. What? Ooh, favorite performance by an actor, an actor? in anything, in television in anything. Or, or movies or anything. I'll go with uh, Sarah Michelle Gellar, Buffy the Vampire Person. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, there's an extremely complex character, and I think she's- Wow, she honestly, she, she is a great actress. Uh, I'm going with Marion Cotillard in- uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with Marianne Cotillard in uh, La Vie en Rose. Oh, no. That was one of the best performances you will ever see by an actor. Not the Batman movie she did? Ooh, favorite movie that was a book. Favorite movie that was a book. Um, that will go with uh, Schindler's List. Ooh, that's a good one. I'm going to go with Harry Potter, though. <laughs> <laughs> Why sure? That? Why? Did you read those? No, I didn't read it. Lord of the Rings, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because I don't read, obviously. No, but I do love Harry Potter. I'm going to pick Harry Potter over Lord of the Rings. I'm sorry. Come on. Espeliamis. Movie that everybody likes that you do not like. Oh, Napoleon Dynamite. There's a lot, but that was the first one that came into my... I never under, I never got it. Fargo. Mm. Never seen it. Okay, in Amber Waves, who's your least favorite cast member? Are we talking cast member or are we talking character? Cast member. Cast member? <laughs> Stacy. I'll that's go with Stacy too, yeah. That, that's obvious. Stacy, yeah, yeah. for sure, 100%. Stacy Saunders. I just. Agree. I agree. She's very, very rude. Very, very rude. Like, yeah. I mean, it, it's just no fun whatsoever. She's a terrible person. She's a terrible, terrible person. Yeah. Who's your favorite fictional character from a movie or a TV show? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's hard. I know it is. You can't just pick one. Are you are you serious? 
Um, Khaleesi, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Mother of Dragons, I think that that character. I mean, I guess I would say, like, off the top of my head, Indiana Jones. Then, you know, other contenders like like uh, Walter White, Buffy Summers, uh, President Rosalind. What is your biggest pet peeve about modern movies? Oh, gosh, I mean, how much time do we have? Do I have to stick I with know. one answer? To me, it doesn't feel like the characters are, are complex anymore. I, I think modern movies... Uh, don't treat their audiences with the same respect that they used to. Like, we're not dumb, we can figure stuff out. Yeah. I want something with more meat on it, I guess, that I actually yeah. have to think about and that I have to, that I can connect with and the realism yeah, it's, of it's, it's it. It's okay to, it's to go deep. Last show or movie that made you cry? Uh, the season finale of Battlestar Galactica. How long ago did you watch it? Uh, a couple days ago. Okay. I mean, I've what? seen it a million times, but yeah, it gets me every time. Probably Bly Manor, I want to say. I think that's the last time I actually watched them that made me cry. If you don't cry, come on. So good. Ooh, an actor or filmmaker whose movies like you, you've seen a lot of. Like, who's that one person that you've probably seen most of their work? Um, uh, Steven Spielberg. Spielberg? I'm going to say Angelina Jolie. But that, I mean, I've seen like the weird stuff, like hackers. I own life or something like it on VHS. Did you ever see Cyborg 2? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, how would you make a really bad movie? Um, I'd cast Channing Tatum in it. <laughs> I would probably make the audio really, really crappy. Um, and then the lighting, like, you can't see anything. Head yeah, yeah, make it really underexposed. Yeah. Uh, constantly exposition coming out of every character's mouth every every two seconds. Oh yeah, that was, yeah, that's a good one. Um, no cuts, only dissolves. Ooh. <clears throat> okay, favorite show in the last five years? Um, I'd have to go with uh, The Expanse. Oh yeah, you do like that show. You do like that show. Oh, in five years? Oh my God, there's so many. I mean, Queen's Gambit was ridiculous. Blight Manor. Uh, Sex Education, Fleabag, favorite movie in the last five years. Oh, I know mine. I would say uh, Blade Runner 2049. Really? Mm -hmm. I would say Portrait of a Lady on Fire. Every time I watch that movie, I just there's something else I pick up and then I fall in love with and performance, everything. So brilliant. As it pertains to movies, who is your biggest influence? Um, as an oh. actor and as a filmmaker, you can do Okay, I can do both because that's what I say, that's kind of, that's different. You know, Marianne Cotillard, that's always who I looked up to because it's just how much she can just give and she can just dive into things and yeah, it's crazy. Directing and like filmmaking wise, oh my gosh. I mean, it has to be Spielberg. I, I, I think it's just because of what he can do with all sorts of stories and- Yeah, I say the same thing. It's just, just yeah, just, how yeah. he tells a story, I guess. It's mm -hmm. really something that I think a lot of people don't do. Yeah, he's a true, true master of the craft. Mm -hmm. What movie do you feel had the best soundtrack? <sighs> Ooh. You can split this in two. You can go score or soundtrack or both. Okay. Titanic really did have a great score. Because mm -hmm. you Jordan. can just, yeah. yeah, you can listen to that and I cry every single time. Gladiator had a great score. Soundtrack wise, oh God, anything in the 90s. <laughs> Scream had a great soundtrack. Oh yeah. Uh. Captain Marvel had a great soundtrack, right? If I remember correctly. Forrest Gump. Oh, Forrest Gump. Yes. Kill Bill! Sorry, I got really excited. Oh my gosh, I forgot about Kill Bill! It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Do you have a favorite song from a movie? Like, Ooh. the original song that was made for the movie? You know, like, my heart will go on. You know, I always say I wanted it to play at my funeral, too. I don't know if it's my favorite, but that song from Gladiator, Now We Are Free, that yeah. plays at the end. Just chokes me up every time. I'm gonna That's go with something much cheesy here, but uh, Danger Zone from Top Gun. <laughs> okay, if you could change one thing about the movie industry, what would it be? I think as a viewer, just fresh content. I want new yeah. stuff. I want new stories, new original stories. But it's at the same time, I'm like, do I want to change? Maybe can we have more filmmakers involved in that aspect of the business side? deciding things, I guess. You know what I mean? Like, what if they were, you know, the heads, the studio execs? I, I want to see a return to theaters, for sure. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, that'd be that, nice. That's, that's killing the industry in a lot of yeah. ways. Yeah, good old-fashioned TV. I'm sure it exists. I probably just not. I'm not in the loop. I still remember, like, just 
winter fall night eating a bowl of chili, <laughs> watching like Home Improvement. No, there's something to be said about looking forward to a TV show every week, mm -hmm. you know, sitting down for that half hour, hour and enjoying it. And, you know, the, the binge watching, I mean, we're all so used to it now and it's got its conveniences. And I think mm -hmm. some shows might work better when you binge them. When you, yeah, right. But there was something about just looking forward to that one night where that, that your favorite show was on and you know, making a snack and looking forward to it all day long. And then, you know, oh, it's over with, what's gonna happen next week and watching the preview. Do you remember the first show that got you excited like that? Where you were actually counting down the days and like always made sure it was on your calendar, blah, blah, comes out today. <laughs> Um, oh god, yeah. Uh, probably the Dukes of Hazard. Really? Yeah. Mine was Friends. And I was young, but I still, I think it was like on Thanksgiving one time, I'm like, no, it's Thursday, I have to go watch Friends. Sorry, I'm finished with my mashed potatoes, I'm going to watch Friends. What is your favorite Oscar winning movie? Similar's List. Yeah, that is a good one. That was my favorite movie for a very, very long time. Yeah, I, I would say I always consider that the best movie I've ever seen, but maybe not my favorite. Mm hmm. Right, because there is a difference. Yeah. You can appreciate something for everything that you Yeah, I mean, Schiller's List, I mean, it, it's, it's hard to watch, let's put it that way. Yeah, it's. it's uh, but yeah, I mean, it was just such an interesting movie. a lot. I mean, as far as Academy Award winning films, like Return of the King. I mean, I've probably oh, yeah, seen that, did that win. more than any other Oscar winner. It's, see, Titanic's like one of those ones too, where I, it's not my favorite movie, but because everything came together to make that, yeah. it's like, you gotta respect it. Like, that's crazy what they pulled off. I always say that's one, it's a, a complete movie, 